Hey, 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 happy Saturday. I just started making a video a second ago and my phone just said no. I got about eight seconds into it and it just cut off. Like, no, nobody wants to hear whatever the hell you're whining about today. God, that little area over here is totally clogged with June bugs. There are June bugs everywhere. Gosh, they're all over. Big old June bugs flying around. I don't know why they hang out in front of the post office. Dang, they're all over there too. It's a swarm of June bugs. Wow. Just every time I come to the post office, they're just it's like a little June bug civilization out here. It's just clouds of June bugs flying around. I want to go lay down amongst them and have them buzz over me. Just <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I think it would be fun. <laughs> I just left an exercise class. I know you're shocked. Oh my God. That's all she does. She has no life. You're right. I really don't have a life. There's a bumblebee. I really don't. And the older you get, the more you start to embrace that. Well, I did anyway. I don't care. When I was younger, I used to, it used to bother me to think that people would think I have no life anymore. I don't give a shit. No, I sure don't. But I have this little section of hair right here that will not stay in a braid. And it's just like, wee! It doesn't do it on this side. Just this one. I actually, yeah, I can, never mind. I need to go this way. I was, I'm, I'm going right over here. I'm headed to the little thrift store. I had to come check my post office box. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the little thrift store because I have some time to kill. I have, God, I have almost an hour to kill. I have to go get my car inspected this morning, but I'm not supposed to be there till 11 a.m. So I don't feel like driving all the way back home just to come back out here and go down here. I had to make an appointment. I called them on Tuesday to make an appointment and Saturday morning was the first appointment they had available. And my son actually should be coming through here any time now to take his car to get it inspected. Um, and he asked me to get there early so I could hang out with him. He said, I feel stupid sitting in there by myself. I said, why? I don't know. Just, can you, can you get there a little early? <laughs> so I'm not by myself. I said, yeah, I guess. So I don't have a total hour because his appointment, I made appointments for both of us when I called. His appointment is at 1030. Mine is at 11. And the guy on the phone said, if you don't take the Saturday morning appointments, I don't have any more appointments for inspections until next Friday. So I said, let's go ahead and do it. Girl, the little thrift store is crowded. There's uh, a lot of people here. Well, that's fine. I'm just going to run in here for a minute and just browse and see if there's anything good before I have to go, go up there to the service station. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna get my car inspected. This is really the only super, not even urgent thing I have to do today. I'm enjoying a quiet day. I got this shirt on eBay. It's cute. It's a little tank top and it has Under Armour running down the front. And again, and I, I got this in the mail the other day. It came, it got here really fast. But again, I'm looking at it going, they describe this shirt as brown. It's not brown, it's it's gray. It is not brown at all. There's not the slightest bit of brown in this shirt. It is gray, which is fine. It fits fine and I really like it. It's super cute. But I went back and looked at, looked at the description. The first word in the title was brown. And it looked brown in the pictures. It looked like a, an interesting kind of a darker brown color. I thought, that's cool. I kind of like that. So that's the second Under Armour tank top. Two different sellers that I have bought, and they were both described as brown. Neither shirt was brown. The other one was like a coral color, and this one is gray. Y'all need to eBay. Y'all need to get your shit together. Now, come on now. I'm an eBay seller. Y'all, come on. You're making this look bad. Get your shit together. <laughs> this is not a brown shirt. I left, I left some positive feedback, though, because the way I look at it, I like the shirt. I'm happy with it. I'm not going to leave you negative feedback, because I, I guess I should point out, you know, you described it as brown, and it's, it's gray, but 
you know, it might, de and I've had this happen to me. It might depend on the light. I got to redo my braid. It might depend on the light. You know, when you were looking at it and taking pictures of it, it might have looked gray or brown to this person because I've had that happen before. You know, if I'm in a room with, you know, goofy lighting in it, it may look like a different color. You know, if you take it outside, it may look, it may look different. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. My son is so funny. Both of my kids talk in their sleep. My older son does it more than my younger son, but they both definitely do it. And my younger son, all summer, sleeps on the couch. He doesn't sleep in his room at all. He sleeps downstairs. And uh, he's on a weird sleep schedule right now, and I am not loving it. I am not loving this new sleep schedule he's on. He uh, sleeps... He's like on third shift. He sleeps until about 8 p.m. or so. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, he sleeps during the day, and he's up, like, it kind of overlaps a little bit, but for the most part, he's up at night sleeping during the day. He, do, he did it last summer, too. And uh, so sometimes I am downstairs while he's asleep. I think I got it. I was doing push-ups, and some when I do push-ups, it always causes that little bit of hair to come out somehow. And uh, so he, but when my younger son talks in his sleep, it's mostly gibberish, like you can't understand. It's not, it's it's completely unintelligible usually. But I was I was in the living room. I was I was looking for something, and he's just blah, 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 you know, blah, blah, blah. but all of a sudden he sat up. And he look, he'll look right at you and be sound asleep. He sat up and he goes, oh my God. And then he just laid back down and went back to bub, 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 <laughs> Oh my God, it was funny. He just sat straight up and looked at me, but he was sound asleep. He had no memory of it later, you know, when he woke up. He had no memory of doing that. I said, I'm going to start making video of you doing that because it's hilarious. Um... But my older son will talk to you. He will be sound asleep, and he you will carry on the most nonsensical conversation with him. Um, I remember when we, we went to Hershey, Pennsylvania for a, a few days back several years ago, and we rented in this, uh, this room with two queen beds in it. And uh, so my kids were sleeping in one bed. I was sleeping in the other. And, and uh, my older son was just talking, 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 talking. And I was still awake. It was kind of late and I was watching TV and he just kind of rolled over and he, he was mumbling and he goes, same thing goes up and down. I said, what? He goes, oh, never mind. <laughs> and this other, this is all at the Hershey trip because I'm normally not around him that much while he's asleep because he, he's always in his room with the door shut when he's asleep. So I don't, I don't, I can hear him talking in there, but I can't quite hear what he's saying. And the Hershey trip, this was another, this was another time. He's, he's, uh, so he's asleep and he's going, yeah, yeah, that, that, okay, that'll work. Yeah. No, no, uh-uh. Turn the rockets off. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so funny to listen to him talking to sleep because you can actually understand what he's saying, but it usually doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's dreaming about. That's funny. <laughs> so, it's getting hot in here. Boy, you turn the motor off. It gets hot in here in a hurry. So, I brought my gym. I, normally, I will leave my gym bag in the trunk. But I got to looking at it. I was leaving this class, and I was looking at it. And it's actually really dirty. This is a just like a... I love the big rope drawstring on this bag and the print on the inside is so fun look at it I bought this at Goodwill years ago it's a nice sturdy canvas bag but it's really it's really dirty and I've never I'll admit I've never washed it I it's great for outdoor classes indoor classes whatever and I put all my stuff in here I keep um, old kitchen towels I use these kitchen towels are the perfect size for working out and whenever I have old kitchen towels and I, you know, I replace my kitchen towels, they just become gym towels. 
and I just start using them when I work out and I keep just a stash of clean towels in here and I you know when they're dirty I, after I use them I wash them and I just cycle them through the bag so I always have a stash of clean towels in here I have my gloves for my weightlifting class there's one of them my straps because I have I have a pad that I put on the bar for putting the bar on my back I can't stand the way it feels so I bought this pad that you that you put onto the, the bar I have my straps in here I got my other glove my little gloves these gloves are great too because they have silicone grips on the palms and the fingers I got these on Amazon for like 12 bucks um, and they're they're great you can I hand wash these I don't wash them in the washing machine I hand wash these um, and they're great too if you're doing push-ups or anything it gives you a little bit of extra grip on the floor got, my, got a bunch of towels in here right now I have some masks in here I keep lip balm in here. I have a bunch of lip chapstick stuff. I've got my loop earplugs if anybody's smacking their gum or just flapping their gums too damn loud and getting on my nerves. I've got my earplugs. Woo! And that's it. And some face masks. In case they bring the damn mask mandate back, I've got some masks. I can, if I need one and I don't have any, I've always got some in this bag. So, but I was thinking, ooh, there's a an old band-aid in here no telling how long that damn thing's been in here it's probably been in here for a year but i've been using this gym bag well, it's not a gym bag it's my gym it's my gym bag <laughs> i have a gym bag i don't use it for this though i like this bag because it's easy to open it's easy to carry all my stuff fits in it perfectly if i'm going to an outdoor class i can put free weights in here it's very sturdy and I have a key ring here that I can clip my keys to so I don't have to drop them down in the bag and then they disappear into the abyss down in there. Yes, but I'm going to take it home and wash it. I thought I would run it through the washing machine. That probably wouldn't hurt it because I've literally never washed it and it's probably crawling with germs. Anyway, it's getting hot as hell in here and I'm, I'm gonna run, just run in here for a minute. I gotta make sure I got my money. They only take cash, so I have my little change purse. The pants I have on actually have pockets so I could stick my, my money in there. Don't forget your keys. And I'll see if I can find any, anything good in there. Um, it's summertime and am I the only one that deals with flies in the house in the summer? Because, you know, going in and out, they just get in the house. Well, last night, I was trying to make that candy video, and there was a damn fly in my bedroom. The hell? Is that church bells? I'm hearing things. So, there was a, a fly in my room, or as we call them, sky raisins, because the cats love to catch them and eat them. They're just sky raisins. <laughs> 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 So, I'm in there with a fly swatter like, you little bitch. So, I went downstairs and got my, I left my door open like, go to another part of the house at least. Let me, I can't make a video of you buzzing around in here, little asshole. So, but as soon as I got back up there with the fly swatter, the fly disappeared and I thought, well, maybe he left the room. So, I set the fly swatter down and I, I got to working on my video and then, here he comes again. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Like, you could fly to Bermuda. You can fly. But here you are in my face. Why why are you so stupid? You could be in, you know, you could be in Cancun right now having a good old time, but no, you choose to hang out up here and get in my face. I never did kill it. I don't know. He just disappeared. One of the cats probably eventually captured it and, and you know, dined on its flesh. It because I know it's gross, but that's shit, that's what they do. The cats love it when a fly or a moth or anything gets in the house. They get so excited. They look like the contestants on The Price is Right when a fly gets in there. Woo! They want to catch it. They're jumping at it. It's the most exercise easy and Evie and Punkin ever gets when a fly gets in the house. They get so, you know, and they'll jump. And Evie tries to jump, bless her heart. She just kind of, oh, she just sort of lunges at it like, whoa, gravity is getting stronger. Like, no. But the diet the vet had me put you on is not working. <laughs> Bless her heart. The vet says she really needs to lose weight. I know, I know. She does. She looks pregnant. Um, God. But they love it. They love to catch. They love to catch sky raisins. But that one in my room last night was driving me crazy. I try to keep them out of the house. But, you know, we go in and out. And 
and they just get in the house. I don't, shit, I don't know. Part of the problem, too, is that I leave food outside for Wally, and they're drawn to the, the dry food I leave out there. And if you go in and out the back door, you pretty much always let in a fly every time you go in and out. So, yeah, it sucks. But, anyway. Okay, it's hot in here. I just want to take a minute to say hey. Um, I hope I hope you're having a good Saturday. It's a pretty day. It's a little warm, but it's a beautiful day. It's 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 a beautiful sunny day. We got a little bit of rain last night. Not much, just enough to tease you a little bit. But I don't know. Hell, maybe one of these days we'll get a proper rain. But yeah, it's getting hot, so I'm going to go inside and see if I can find any bargains. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a good day. Um. Oh. Well, I already dropped it off. I have to tell you this. This is funny. If you have to pay property taxes on your house, um, your taxes probably went up this year. Mine went up. Our taxes here went up significantly. Um, it makes me want to cry when I see how much. Oh, my Oh my God. Oh, my God. Well, houses are selling a lot more, you know, a lot higher. Well, I can't shit. I'm not selling my house. Why the hell you don't charge me more? I'm not selling my house. Anyway, property values, you know, go up. So, my dad's house is in my name. His house and his property are in my name. It, it's it's a whole thing. I don't know if I need to get into family gossip. Well, it's not gossip. I don't know if I need to get into family shit. I'll just tell you this. Um, when he was married to my, my previous stepmom, she passed away suddenly um, about, gosh, six or seven years ago. Well, she had three grown sons. Now, one of them did pass away from cancer. The other two were, and still are, they, I'm just going to say it, they're just sorry. They're in and out of jail. They don't work. They just, they would, they just mooched off their mom. They're both older than me. They are now both in their 60s, I would think. They mooched off their mom. She paid for everything. Like, she gave them a place to live. Like, she bought them both, like, a little bit of land and a trailer. And they trashed it because they're awful. And, you know, if they needed money, she would literally bail them out. Like, bail them out of jail. She would buy them a car. They would wreck it. She would pay to get it fixed. You know, just, oh, my God. So, my dad said, you know, my dad couldn't stand her kids. And there was, oh, oh, there was this whole thing. Don't tell me. Well, I don't care. It's it's common knowledge in the family. It's not like a secret. Um, when she died, the one of the kids kind of it was like a slap of reality for one of them. I keep calling him a kid. He's not a kid. A grown ass man. One of her sons. It was like a slap of reality when when she died. Like, oh my god, I don't have anybody to support me anymore. I better get my shit together. And he tried to. Um, but he had been a, a heavy drinker all of his life, and he actually passed away from cirrhosis, um, like, maybe two years after his mom died. But he did try, my dad said in, in the last two years he lived, he really tried to make amends with people and do better and be a better person. He really, kind of like Earl, my name is Earl, like, he tried to do better. He tried. The other one never did. The other one is just as big of a piece of shit as he ever was. So the other one... When his mom died, you know, she had a will, and my dad made sure everything in the will was honored. Everybody got everything they were supposed to get. Her, both of her kids ended up getting like $15,000 cash when she died. She had money in a bank account, life insurance, whatever. They each got like $15,000. And the, the one that was trying to do better, you know, it, it helped. It took care of him up until he died. The other one blew through that money in like three months. He went out and just blew it on stupid shit. And then was flat broke. Like, dude, there's no more money. You don't have a job. You you have no income, no means to support yourself. You better make this money last. No, three months it was gone. I don't even know what the hell he spent it on, but it was gone. I would be hard pressed to blow $15,000. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't be so hard pressed to blow $15,000. I totally could. I'd go buy like a 78 Corvette and ride the hell out of it. Anyway, no. So, once the money was gone, he started getting desperate. It's like he didn't think about it. Oh, shit, I have no money. So, he literally showed up at my dad's house with the shotgun and started demanding money. He pointed at my dad. Give me money like, like a robbery. Like, stick him up. 
And my dad, my, my dad, and he described it this way. He said, look, I survived Vietnam. I've survived two heart attacks. I ain't scared of this piece of trash. So he just said, go on, get on out of here. You're not getting any money out of me. You got everything that was coming to you. You're done. She gave him a car. She left his car to him. He totaled it within a month. He had totaled it drunk driving. I don't know how the hell he keeps getting his license back. He has had multiple DUIs. I don't know. I think he was driving without a license. Totaled the car, and it was a nice car. Totaled it. And then was bitching because he had nothing to drive. It's like, you're, it's your damn fault you have nothing to drive. Oh my God. So, standing in my dad's yard pointing a shotgun at him. And my dad got his cell phone out. He said, yeah, you get on out of here. Go on. I'm not giving you anything. You don't deserve any. You got more than you deserve. Get on out of here. We're done. I don't owe you anything. Well, I need money. Well, you don't need to come here looking for it. You are barking up the wrong tree. Get out of here. And he, he was just standing there just pointing the gun. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill you. So my dad had his flip phone in his pocket. I don't think he had an iPhone yet. He pulls out his flip phone. He said, all right. So he called yeah, 911. Like, you need to come up here and get this man off my property because I don't feel like killing him today. That's a siren. That's a dispatch station over here, the fire trucks. He said, I don't feel like killing him. Come up here and get him. Can't just come get him out of here. And he's just holding that gun, you know. I'm going to kill you. Like, well, they're on their way, so um, how are we going to do this? You going to leave? You going to leave? I don't want to kill you. I don't want to do, I'll, I'll, I don't want to kill you today. I don't have time to deal with you. I don't feel like going to court. I don't feel like, I don't feel like dealing with you. Go away. Oh, they got a little, oh my gosh. That kid got the coolest little, it's like a little, what is that? It's like a little shopping cart. No, it's a baby carriage. It has a little teddy bear in it. That is adorable. They don't normally have a lot of kids toys. That's cute. It has a little teddy bear in it. All my kids used to love stuff like that. So, my dad didn't have a gun. He was he just happened to be outside doing something in the yard when this guy pulled up and got out of his... It wasn't even his car. He had borrowed a car from somebody. Drove up there in somebody else's car. I'd, damn if I'd loaned him my car. Drove up there, got out, got a shotgun out, started pointing it at my daddy. He said, I ain't got time for you, man. Get the hell out of here. So, he ended up leaving before the cops got there, like... You're not going to rattle my dad. He has seen much worse than this. He's had to do much worse than this. Um, you ain't going to scare my dad, you little piece of shit. So, he, he uh, he's still a scumbag, but he never bothered my daddy again, I don't think. He's called him and harassed him a few times, but he didn't go back up there. Yeah, he said he wasn't going to shoot me. He, he was shaking so bad he wouldn't have hit me. I don't know that I would have had the nerve to stand there like that, but... Yeah, my my dad is, you can't rattle my dad. It's very hard to, you couldn't rattle my dad. He's just, he's seen it all. Like, he, he is not worried about just stupid shit. So, but anyway, the reason my dad's house is in my name. See, my dad had that house and that property before he married my former stepmom. And uh, she actually kept her house. She had a nice brick house. She gave it to one of the kids. They trashed it. Or, yeah, they did. Which one was it? It was the one that died, and he, he um, well, he didn't trash it, but he didn't take care of it. Anyway, um, my dad told her, said, look, and we told me first, he said, can I put my house in property? He's got like three and a half acres in a house and everything. Can I put it in your name? Because if I die before she does, you know what she'll do with this place. She'll either sell it and give her kids the money, or she'll let them have it, and they'll move up here and, and trash it. And I don't want them to benefit from my death in any way. I said, that's fine. Put it in my name. She got mad. She was pissed when he did it. He just told her. He didn't ask her. He said, look, this is what I'm going to do. And she didn't like it. And he said, he told me later, he said, yeah, I know why she didn't like it because she had already planned to do that. She was planning on me dying first and she was going to either sell it and give them the money and go back to her own house or let one of them come live up here. And I'd be darned if they're going to do that. I'll come back and haunt them. I will run them out of here. Ain't living up here. 
So anyway, years ago we put we put it in my name. So I get his tax bill every year. It used to come once a year, now it comes every six months. And I saw his tax bill today. It came in the mail and I about cried. I said, Man, I wish that's all I had to pay. His taxes on three and a half acres, a house and four buildings is a hunt for six months was $194. <laughs> Any of y'all, any of y'all got taxes, it might be a little bit higher than that. Yeah. So it's basically $400 a year. Man, I wish, I wish that's all I had to pay. Damn. And he's mad because it went up. It used to be like $300 a year. And he's pissed because it went up to about $400. I'm like, still. I mean, that's a huge jump though. But still, I said, you should see what I have to pay. Holy hell. It's a lot more than that. So, yeah, I, I got it in the mail, and uh, actually, I, I went ahead and forwarded it to him so he could get it, because it comes in my name, because it's, you know, the property's in my name, so the bill comes to me, but I went ahead and forwarded it to him this morning, but, um, so he can go ahead and get it and pay it, but, yeah, now it's super duper hot in here, and I gotta get the hell out. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.